Hello and welcome to My Carolina Today. I'm Alex Butler. I'm Valandi Calloway. Coming up in today's show, we're going to tell you about how 100,000 miles doesn't mean what it used to when it comes to Your a vehicle. car. It used to be, oh gosh, I've got to sell it. No. Which is always not necessarily. Yes, that's me. And I just hit 100,000 miles, so I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> Plus, we're talking about flu fighting foods. Everybody's got yeah. the flu, so now's the time to figure out how to fight well, it. Well, hopefully we don't get it. I know. I know. Ooh. I've been joking around Volanda. I've been coughing like for fun. I got but it's my not flu funny. shot, but even this year it's not as effective <laughs> no. as in the past. I so know. Go figure. And I didn't get my flu shot, which I know. Yeah, see. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> also, the All American Marathon is right around the corner. We're going to tell you what you need to know to get ready. Okay, so usually our mornings uh, in the, I guess, not newsroom, in the office, in the you office, know, here yeah. amongst the news, mm -hmm. we kind of we get down. We boogie sometimes. We play, we play some music. Sometimes yeah, we Drew sing. Drew has a turntable. We He's have a turn table. Friday. We, we listen get a little to crazy. Some Commodores and, yeah. you know, groups like that. Today, Volanda came in. She come, came running. And she was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Alex, Alex, my, 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 my band's on, my band's on. Okay, who was it? Spandau Ballet. Spandau Ballet. Was on the Today Show. I was in the break room getting some water and I looked up at the TV and I saw, oh, Spandau Ballet. So she I came in. rushed to the office, turned the TV on. And here's what happened. She started booging down. <laughs> Yeah. Every time I always wish that I had a camera, like I wish we had a hidden camera so that I could just hit record when Milana starts to boogie down. But anyways, this I is your jam. I love this song. How, how could you not love this song? I know this much is true. I was 11 when that song came out. Oh. You were what, three? <laughs> <laughs> Drew said I was born that year. But I'm impressed that you knew it. Well, I got, you know, I got old school jams in the family. The mm -hmm. family knows about the music. You know, <laughs> they play it the way you're training Lila. Yes, I've totally brainwashed my child. Yes. So she's proficient in Prince and Michael Jackson. <laughs> Last week she learned about EPMD. Oh, my and gosh. And so each week we introduce her. Oh, she's uh, proficient in the spinners. <laughs> we got the old school music yes. ready to go. So, yeah. <laughs> if you ever need a jam, just send us an email. We'll send you a jam back. <laughs> Okay. Well, yesterday, our question of the day got a lot of buzz. The question was, would you allow your six-year-old and 10-year-old to walk a mile by themselves? Right. Got quite a bit of response on Facebook. So what, there was a few different responses that came through, right? Yeah, Jackie Carlson said, all kids in my area are not offered busing to school if they live within one mile or closer, so one mile must not be that big of a deal, right? Laura Marshall Tapp says, yes, I would let them be kids and teach them to be streetwise. Kids hovered over turn into adults who can't function in society. Oh, my gosh. And then J.C. Lucas is, says that he's basically against it. Really, a 10- and 6-year-old walking a mile. Ah, no, not on my watch. And, like, 18 exclamation points. But I think, I, and I understand this, mm -hmm. you know, and we talked about it yesterday, you know, and I thought about it a little bit yesterday. I had a dream that I had a kid. And then I was like, Ooh. would I let them walk by themselves? No, uh -huh. it wasn't a real dream, but it was a daydream. <laughs> anyway, the point is, I still don't think it's safe in today's world. So, But to each his own, and, you know, yeah. of course. I think it also depends on where you live. Right. You know, I grew up. Uh, everybody around me was related to me. Right. So it's kind of like safety, you know, safety first. But it's not that way for Lila, unfortunately. All right. So I love this story. It kind of really makes me think of Volanda Calloway all the time because <laughs> it's about a kid that was invoiced for not showing up to a birthday party. So, you know, lots of kids get invited to birthday parties all the time. I yeah. remember when I was a kid, I asked Volanda if she was throwing parties this year. She's like, well, sometimes they get expensive. I don't know. Well, there was a kid in Cornwall, I believe, which is overseas. Mm -hmm. BBC News says mm -hmm. he was okay. invited. But he didn't show up to the party. So yes. his dad right there is holding an invoice that a teacher put in his backpack that the other mother gave to the teacher to put in his backpack to send him home with. Now, I want both reactions from yes. you. One, what your reaction would be if you're that parent that gets the invoice. Go. I would take a few minutes, maybe a few days, to compose myself because my first reaction is not the reaction that I yes. want the She'd parent like, to get. Oh, heck to the gnaw. So I'd you know, wait a few days right. and then write a note and let them know um, that I didn't appreciate that. Okay. Because and it's, then, it's tacky. Right. It it's is tacky. tacky. And second, now what if you were the parent that sent the invoice? Can you relate to that? I person? can relate, but I wouldn't send an invoice. You wouldn't. That's tacky. Yeah, to it is tacky. An invoice. An invoice. It comes out to about 24 U.S. dollars, the amount that, that she that Wanted. That the yeah, that she wanted. No, I, I understand, know. which is why I don't throw birthday parties every year. Right. I told Lila, five, <laughs> ten, and sixteen. Yes. You get a party. That's right. The rest of it, we'll do something special. <laughs> like this year, we had cake. 
We invited family over. Right. We said, happy birthday! And that's that. And you Go didn't send bed. anybody an invoice. <laughs> So that's the good news. Okay, well, we're not doing this party stuff you know, every year. <laughs> Even, nope. you know, it's funny because I think in some ways, you know, speaking of kids in school, it's a lot of that stuff is kind of like bullying, yeah. you know? It's like parents getting involved in the bullying and all this stuff. Well, this brings us to our next story because we have a bullying <laughs> situation going on in America, according to Russell Brand. Volanda loves TMZ. I, I always do. say to her, I'm always like, Volanda, did you hear that? She's like, what do you say? It, oh, it was on TMZ. It was on TMZ. It was on TMZ. Mm -hmm. I saw it. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> So she is a loyal fan of TMZ. Well, Russell Brand says, no more TMZ. He says, you got to stop making fun of people. Take a look. Do you think that Bruce Jenner should be allowed to express himself? Tweet us and let us know. Do you think that people should be judged until they're driven into a hole, perhaps even suicide? Let us know. Do you this is bullying. Stop. Stop. Bruce Jenner is a human being. This is not disassociated from the more vivid and violent terrors and horrors of the world. This climate and climate of bullying and judgment and cruelty is a violence of its own nature. This climate of bullying and... Okay, I can't even take him seriously. Why is he in the bed? I know. Well, he's in his bed. That's where he has his best thoughts. I have my best thoughts in the bed. I wake up and I say, yes, a profound thought. So he's letting people know. You know, we saw that picture of Bruce Jenner with all the yeah. makeup. He's saying, cut that. Cut the bullying. Do you think Wonder, it's bullying? Uh, oh, Valanda doesn't think. She's loyal to TMZ. Watch out. Oh, snap. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect people to say? One minute you're Bruce Jenner, the I Olympic know. athlete. And mm. then you got makeup and on. And the next minute you look like a woman. I mean, that's his prerogative. I know. It's true. It's true. I hear what you're saying. I heard. You heard? <laughs> okay. <laughs>